Okay, there's a few things that you need to do to make sure that you can hyperlink to MP3 files. The first thing is in your um, songs table or wherever you've called yours, you have to make sure that you've got a field set up ready. Now this one I've called MP3 and I've made sure that the data type for it is hyperlink. So that's the first thing you have to do. When you then create your form from this um, table, you'll see that um, that will allow you to put hyperlinks straight into them. So I'm just going to save and close this table now. And I'm going to open the form that goes with it. So I've got a songs form. Here in my songs form, I'm going to go to the end of here and create a new record. So I've got a completely blank one ready to go. Now all my data is already in my other table, so I should just be able to choose the things I want. So I'm going to go for a, a, an artist called Blondie. And the album is Blondie's Greatest Hits. And I'm going to put in a song called Sunday Girl. I uh, can't remember the duration, so I won't do that for the minute. I'll rate it. In fact, I think it's really good, so I'll give it a 5. And now I want to put the actual hyperlink in. The way to do that is to right mouse click, go to um, Edit, Hyperlink. There you go, Hyperlink, Edit, Hyperlink. And now I just need to make sure that I get the right um, song. Now I said earlier on, you need to make sure that everything is saved in the same folder. So I've got a folder here called Music Database 2. Inside there I've got my database saved. I've also got a folder with my cover images, that's the images of the albums, and I've also got an MP3s folder. So I need to open up my MP3 folder and I need to find Sunday Girl, there it is, and say OK. And you'll see what's happened now is it's put the MP3 um, hyperlink straight into that um, window. Now I can click off it, but if I come back to the focus you can see it's a hyperlink by the fact that I've got a little pointy hand coming up. And if I click on that now, it should launch for me. I'll say yes to any messages that pop up. And this will launch Media Player. And hopefully you can just about hear the song playing in the background. Okay, and there you have it. That's what you need to do to get your MP3s in and working inside your database. And remember, you have to have everything saved in the same folder. If you don't, when you move your um, database or you move your folder anywhere else, it won't work. Uh, and that includes when you submit it to me. Okay, good luck.